It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, good morning to you. Hope you're having a great week so far. It is uh, feels like Tuesday, but it's Wednesday, so we got that going for us. That's right. Which is nice. A little nice. short work week today, huh? Short work week, yeah. So let's get to the news. Green County deputies currently investigating a potential homicide case now after someone came across human remains north of Springfield near the intersection of H and KK Highway. Uh, it's not far from Fellows Lake. The body is uh, skeletal at this point, estimated to be at least 30 days there. Uh, an autopsy and investigation is currently underway. Uh, there was an emotional unveiling last night of a new memorial that will sit outside the come and go on East Chestnut Expressway. That memorial bench is going in there to honor Officer Christopher Walsh and three other people who were gunned down at that gas station in 2020. Very big story. Horrible story, as you may recall, from 2020. Uh, the attacker uh, shot them and then turned the gun on himself. Both the Springfield Police Department and the SPD Wives Group uh, got together and had a hand in getting that memorial in place to remember the fallen there. Yes, I covered that when it happened, and I yeah. still drive by uh, the memorial that they have there right now, which right. is like flowers and a cross. It's yeah. terrible. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we now know the number. It was 11 tornadoes that touched down in Missouri and Arkansas over the Memorial Day weekend. Most of those were EF zeros, but three were EF threes, which we told you yesterday, but now we know there were 11 total, which is crazy. The strongest ones um, were in Boone, Baxter, and Marion County, Arkansas, and in Mountain View, Missouri. We've also heard of five deaths in Arkansas and multiple injuries. It's pretty wild. So it's it's crazy because um, right at the same time, <clears throat> Sprinkle Public Schools is getting ready to open um, a bunch of the gyms that will kind of double as a storm shelter. So those are supposed to be opening um, sometime this summer, most of them sometime this summer. So that's yeah. uh, good timing for when school starts back. Um, with the tornadoes, Convoy of Hope has been very busy, as you might imagine. They are currently sending relief supplies to areas in Arkansas, Missouri, and Texas after that severe weather. Convoy has already sent semi-loads full of relief supplies to Baxter County, Arkansas, the Rogers-Bentonville area in Arkansas, as well as Sykeston, Missouri, and in Texas. I was just uh, yesterday in Rogers, Arkansas with Convoy of Hope. We had delivered a, a semi-load of supplies uh, to a group that we partnered with there, and they were handing them out neighborhood throughout, house to house throughout a neighborhood. So we were there uh, to see that. And uh, man, the, the destruction is, uh, it's really shocking. Honestly, it was more than I expected uh, as we were driving through these neighborhoods, uh, very populated areas that it went through, hit the downtown area of Rogers as well. Um, it was mostly, there were a couple of roofs that were completely off houses, but it was mainly trees down on houses. And uh, power lines down everywhere. There was one house where it looked like a tree. It had to be a massive tree. The tree was gone yesterday while we were there, but it split the, the house right down the middle. You can see uh, a space, you know, wide enough for a tree trunk right through the middle of the house. It was Ugh. unbelievable. Yeah. We were thinking, we were talking about just how horrifying that would be to, uh, to go through that as it's all, you know, the sounds that you hear during that and you're taking cover and praying that, you come out all right. It's wild. Uh, well, you got other problems in Nixa. It looks like a bear. <laughs> There's a bear in Nixa. Uh, it's a reminder that it can happen uh, as the, the city moves into the, the woods. Conservationists remind us that they're, we're in prime season for bears to be roaming around. And if they're hungry and searching for food, as bears often do, they're looking for new areas to live as well. So if you spot one, get a picture of it if you can do so safely and report its location to the Department of Conservation. They like to keep track of as many bears as they can to see how they're migrating, whether they're migrating, and uh, if there are any problem bears. I want to see a bear and I don't. Yeah. You know? We had a friend who posted on Facebook. He was uh, on a turkey hunt. And so he was 
hiding out and a bear. I mean, it was 20 feet from him. Yeah. Just it was walking by and it was a, it was a big black bear. Yeah. Was he in, uh, where was he hunting? I don't remember where. I don't either. Yeah. I mean, it was in the Ozarks, but yeah, I don't remember where. Um, okay. Rescue One needs more foster and adoptive families for pets. They are about 60 dogs in need of a home right now. Not necessarily full adoption. You can foster the dog. That would be very helpful for them right now. You can fill out a foster form at rescueonespringfield.com. Okay. It's a good service. Uh, congratulations are in order for Ron Schneider. Uh, he's been named the new director for the Springfield Green County Park Board. That's cool. The board said they loved his energy and interest in the parks system. Schneider uh, was most recently the executive director of parks in Freeport, Illinois. So welcome. Yeah, he's got a long resume, which yeah. is exciting. Like he's been a lot of places and done a lot of things. So, um, you know me, I love the parks board because we spend more time outside than we do inside. So that's true. We got great parks in our area. And uh, of course, the Parks Board is a sponsor of uh, of the podcast here. So we're grateful for that as well. Yeah. So congratulations to Ron Schneider. We want to get in on his good side. So he keeps it going. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Ron, if you're watching, we love you. We are frequenters of the parks. Just so <laughs> you are. know, we are. Uh, this is you, Allegiant. No, it's you. Is it me? Allegiant yep. is expanding. <laughs> to our listen to the watchers, it wasn't like the most awkward of pauses. Did I sell it? But to the ones who are just listening, they're like, wait, what's happening? Is it I over? It. Nope. Uh, Ethan just forgot his line. I Go sold ahead, it, but I, I nailed it. Allegiant <laughs> is expanding. You can now add a direct flight from Springfield to Destin, Fort Walton Beach, and it's nonstop. Perfect for this time of year, say Thursday, for instance. Uh, Allegiant has expanded in 66 cities across the country so far this season. Uh, it already serves Florida destinations from Springfield, Punta Gorda, uh, Daytona Beach, and Sanford, Orlando. So yep. we have flown Allegiant many times, many places. Phoenix. Have we many times? I don't know. That's I have. I do more than you because yeah. I go to Las oh, Vegas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yep, that's true. Las Vegas, Los Angeles. Uh, Phoenix. Yes. Allegiant. Um, I can't go. Allegiant doesn't take me to my destinations. That's the problem. Which is where Denver? Uh, no, it typically international. Oh, that's, Tanzania. Yeah. 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 No, so don't. also, um, we are only flying one way on Allegiant because I finally have enough sky miles for all five of us. Normally I have enough sky miles for like maybe two of us, but I was so excited. But this time it was all fine to fly back on a different airline or to yes. fly there. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. Remember the huge project that we told you about about Lake of the Ozarks? It appears to be moving forward. They just had a big groundbreaking on it $350 million for a big resort type uh, project called the Oasis at Lakeport. I like the mm. name. Sounds Oasis delightful. Lakeport. <laughs> It'll include a Marriott with 402 rooms, a resort a conference center, a theme park, a Ferris wow. wheel. I mean, who doesn't love the Ferris wheel? Well, Ethan doesn't love the Ferris wheel. That's who. I love a Ferris wheel. Um, the theme park portion is going to be done first. It's kind of phase one, and it will be done one year from now. It's exciting. It is. Uh, the, you know, Lake of the Ozarks is a great attraction, but it could use something like that. It's something newer, I think. Yes. I am realizing that I missed a message from a woman who wants to invite us to Lake of the Ozarks to stay in her cabin. All right. I need to, I need to reply to her and be like, yes, please. I don't know her, yeah. but um, you know, it's interesting because I feel like most of my travels for work were always to table rock, not Lake of the Ozarks. So I've only yeah. actually been to Lake of the Ozarks, like on the actual Lake a couple of times yeah. and never like outside of work. So anyway, I'm, I'm from St. Louis and it, it's for St. Louisans. That is the destination. Most of St. them Lucians. go there. I like to say St. Lucians. Yeah. I don't know if that's accurate, but they, uh, they go there. Uh, some of them come down here, but most of them go to Lake of the Ozarks. That's kind of the place for Kansas city and St. Louis. Yeah. Well, but it's, it's got more shoreline be... than California. So that's there's plenty of room. Here. It's going to be taken off. So, um, okay. Finally, this T-Mobile is buying up most of us cellular. So that's interesting. $4.4 billion deal. U.S. Cellular will keep 70% of its wireless spectrum. 
So is that good news for you? Bad news for you? I don't know. I don't know. 70% of its wireless. I don't know what. Okay. That's yeah. an interesting deal. Uh, I feel like everything's joining, you know, uh, pretty soon we're going to have one choice for everything and Amazon's yeah, going to rule the world. Right. Well, um, I did enjoy, at least I enjoyed the Jeff Bezos documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, you got, uh, you got that going for you, which is All right. Yep. That's about it. All right. Thank you for watching and listening. Uh, we appreciate uh, you sharing the podcast with your friends. We're on Facebook. We're on all the places. So uh, Yeah, and don't go. forget the contest that we have going on. You can check oh, yeah. it out at aroundtheozarks.com. We have ticket giveaways. Um, some of them, the Rolling Stone, which is through 104.7 The Cave. Um, but then there's like ball games. There's just all kinds of contests all the time because we have amazing sponsors. And so... Um, get in on the action and go apply to win because it's like checking. All you have to do is enter your email address. I think, I mean, it's not like a complicated, it's super form. easy and you have so. good odds. And, uh, the address for the Rolling Stones tickets because our, our friends over at one Oh four seven, the cave are giving those away. So you go to one Oh four seven, the cave.com and you can enter to win Rolling Stones tickets before they go on sale, which is Friday. Yep. Easy enough. Okay, yep. thanks for joining us. Hope to see you back here tomorrow morning. See you. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooters Coffee and Rescue Towing. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Wednesday. We are waking up with mainly clear skies across the Ozarks, and I've got some nice weather ahead for the rest of the day today. Conditions are likely going to be warm once again. I'm expecting temperatures to be close to seasonal averages, but much like yesterday, I can't completely rule out a couple of those isolated showers. A few thunderstorms are possible late in the day as well, but the morning drive, the lunch hour, going to be dry across the Ozarks. It's the evening drive that we might have just a handful of showers and storms. Now, those are going to be very isolated in nature, meaning that most of us won't see the rain and storm activity, but I have to mention it because, you know, if it's out there and you get caught underneath one of these thunderstorms, well, it'll be impactful to you. Overall, though, today, the headline is that it's another nice one in the Ozarks with high temperatures near the normal temperatures for this time of the year. That's upper 70s and low 80s. Lots of sunshine early on, moisture gradually increasing in the Ozarks as we head through the afternoon hours. That means the dew point temperature is coming up. It'll feel a little bit more sticky out there by the time we head into the afternoon hours. Most of the rain chances today will be well back to our west and in the Ohio River Valley. And it's a primarily dry day for us in the Ozarks, except for that handful of showers and storms. I expect they're out there by evening dry time. Now, if those storms do develop, I have to mention at least the opportunity for a torrential downpour, some gusty winds in some of the strongest storms. It's not uncommon this time of the year to get some of these pop-up afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Most of the widespread rain chances for us, however, are going to hold off until late tomorrow night, Thursday night into Friday. That's when the next best chance for some more widespread rain looks possible in the Ozarks. Not any less severe weather look to this setup just yet, but we are talking about maybe some widespread downpours that could mean we need to watch for any uh, flooding potential as we head into Thursday night and Friday since our ground is just so saturated. Widespread shower and thunderstorm chances will return to the region late tomorrow night into Friday. Lingering chances do exist into the weekend, but I think the weekend activity will also be kind of isolated in nature, not a washout every single day. There is the potential here for some excessive rainfall, some potential flooding, uh, severe weather chances remaining low at this time, but the Ozarks well outlined in this region that could see the widespread rain Thursday night into Friday. I do expect that if you have outdoor plans, you're just going to want to remain weather aware here over the next couple of days. It does look unsettled for the end of the work week. And as I mentioned, I think that chances will still be out there scattered in nature as we get closer to the weekend. I am expecting that temperatures through this time period stay pretty nice for us. Today, we're looking at upper 70s to near 80 degrees for the afternoon high. Far southwestern Missouri has the best chance for seeing some of those pop-up showers and thunderstorms late in the afternoon. I think the hours from about 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. look best for that activity. 
Then it's Thursday night that we see the best chance for some rain and storm activity. And we'll hold on to some shower and storm chances, especially early in the day on Friday scattered in nature through Saturday afternoon. All of these days though, temperatures look seasonal. That means highs in the upper seventies and low eighties and low temperatures falling back into the sixties each night around the country. What's making headlines today. It's this unsettled weather and thunderstorm activity with a lot of heavy rain potential over the Northern high plains. That's what's in the forecast for today. Also, the sweltering heat is back after severe weather in Texas yesterday. They are back to the heat advisories in many communities, and this is also an issue for South Florida. So anybody planning an early summer vacation heading to Florida, prepare for a hot one because they are talking about some near record temperatures as we head into the next weekend as well. All right, it's time for that Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia Question for the Day. Kind of a fun one. This is the one that I left you with yesterday. How many miles does the average worker honeybee travel in its lifetime? The options are A, 5 miles, B, 50 miles, C, 500 miles, or D, 5,000 miles. This is not a trick question. Uh, If you thought, well, a honeybee is pretty small and they don't live very long. So it should be a five miles, then congratulations, you are correct. Uh, In fact, some honeybees travel far less than that. Some only get to near a mile travel distance uh, from the hive, and they don't live very long. Average worker honeybees live 15 to 38 days in the summer. So they don't have much opportunity uh, to get going to much. Queen honeybee, by the way, survives one to two years. They will fly a long distance for food, and that's typically what they're after if they are traveling far from the hive. Uh, But they like to stay close to home. They don't live very long, so why spend it all traveling? (laughs) They don't like that long commute. A, five miles is the answer. Congrats if that was your guess. You are now entered to win a $20 gift card to Scooter's Coffee. Here is the next weather brain twister trivia question. What modern cleaning machine used to be brought to your home pulled by horses? Do you think it was A, the dishwasher, B, the vacuum cleaner, or C, the clothes dryer? You can submit your guess. That's at aroundtheozarks.com and we'll enter you for that Scooter's gift card for tomorrow's drawing. By the way, I want to tell you about an awesome contest going along on right now. I'm sure you have heard about it, but the Rolling Stones are going to play at Thunder Ridge Nature Arena on July 21st. You have a chance to win tickets before they even go on sale. They go on sale this Friday the 31st at 10 o'clock in the morning, but uh, around the Ozarks knows of your way to enter to win these tickets before you even have a chance to buy them. All you have to do is head on over to 1047thecave.com and they have your chance to win tickets before you can buy them. Um, Pretty awesome opportunity here. Head on over to their website. You can check it out. The Rolling Stones, Thunder Ridge Nature Arena, July 21st. It's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, By the way, you can also check the forecast at aroundtheozarks.com. That's also where you enter our Brain Twister trivia question. Thank you so much to Scooter's Coffee and Rescue Towing for sponsoring Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. And thank you for listening. I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday in the Ozarks. Enjoy the nice mild temperatures. Pack the umbrella just in case you get underneath one of those pop-up storms later today. Otherwise, it'll be a nice summer day and we will chat again tomorrow morning.